crocheting Jack Skellington suit. Starting with black yarn and leaving a long tail for sewing. We're going to start out with a long tail for sewing. We're going to chain 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 24, and 25. Rounds 2 through 5. Single crochet in the second chain from hook. Single crochet evenly across for 24 single crochets at the end of round 2. Row 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 24. Chain 1 and turn. Row 6. Single crochet in the next 3 single crochets. Decrease the next 2 together. Single crochet in the next 14 single crochets. Decrease the next 2 together. Single crochet in the last 3 single crochets. Chain 1 and turn. 1, 2, 3, and 14. Decrease. Single crochet in the last 3. Chain 1 and turn. Row 7. Single crochet in the next 3 single crochets. Decrease 2 together. Single crochet in the next 12 single crochets. Decrease. Single crochet in the last 3 single crochets. Chain 1 and turn. 1, 2, 3, decrease. 1, 2, 3, and 12. Decrease. Single crochet in the last 3. Chain 1 and turn. Row 8. Single crochet in the next 3 single crochets. Decrease the next 2 together. Single crochet in the next 10 single crochets. Decrease the next 2 together. Single crochet in the last 3 single crochets. Chain 1 and turn. 1, 2, 3, and 10. Decrease. Single crochet in the last 3. Chain 1 and turn. Row 9. Single crochet in the next 3 single crochets. Decrease the next 2 together. Single crochet in the next 8 single crochets. Decrease 2 together. Single crochet in the last 3 single crochets. Chain 1 and turn. 1, 2, 3, 7, and 8. Decrease. Single crochet in the last 3. 1, 2, and 3. Chain 1 and turn. Row 10. Single crochet in the next 3 single crochets. Decrease in the next 2. Single crochet in the next 6 single crochets. Decrease the next 2. Single crochet in the last three single crochets, chain one and turn. One, two, three, five, and six. Decrease. Single crochet in the last three, chain one and turn. Row eleven. Single crochet in the next three single crochets, decrease. Single crochet in the next four single crochets, decrease. Single crochet in the last three single crochets, chain one and turn. One, two, three, three, four, decrease. One, two, and three. Row 12. Single crochet in the next three single crochets, decrease. Single crochet in the next two single crochets, decrease. Single crochet in the last three single crochets, chain one and turn. One, two, three, decrease. One, two, decrease. One, two, and three. Chain one and turn. Rows 13 through 16, you're going to single crochet in each single crochet across and chain one and turn. Row 16, single crochet across. Chain one and turn. Row 17, which actually becomes kind of like a half round, you're going to pivot your work and you're going to do a single crochet all along these edges. So this edge, the bottom edge, and this other edge. And then you'll fasten off at the end. So single crochet all the way around. Do two single crochets in each corner. Okay, now we're going to fasten off once we get back to the beginning of row 16. 
we're gonna weave this extra end in and here's our long tail for sewing that we started off with so just weave in the end and then I'll show you how to attach the jacket to Jack's body so this is what our little jacket piece looks like we're gonna thread the needle the long tail that we left for sewing the beginning now we're gonna take our little Jack body put him in the jacket and we're gonna wrap it around his body like this to where the corners meet and now we're gonna whip stitch them together end with a knot and then weave in our end and trim the little end at the bottom fold down his little collar in the back and there's Jack so far the next thing we're gonna do is make two lapels for the sides of his jacket. Take your black yarn and you're gonna chain nine. One, two, three, and nine. And then you're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and each across. One, two, and eight. And you're gonna fasten off. And you're gonna make you're gonna make two of these. Leave a long tail for sewing. And we're gonna weave in this shorter end, our starting end, into the work. So make two of these. Okay, we're gonna take our lapels and we're gonna attach them right along here, the edge of Jack's jacket. So take your tapestry needle and thread it with the end that we left for sewing. If I can get it on, stubborn little needle thingy. And we're going to attach it with the starting chain and we're going to whip stitch it together starting right here see here's the collar we're going to join it right here all the way down okay we're going to secure it with a knot and weave in our end into the work and trim it off now we're going to do the same thing with the other side, right there. And there you go. Here's his two lapels. There's the collar. Now we can sew the white button on right there. So get your sewing needle and some black thread and sew the button on right here. Now we're going to make the fingers. To make the fingers you're going to need Pearl Cotton, a C2 2.75 millimeter hook, C2 2.75 millimeter hook, a tapestry needle, and white pipe cleaners. You're going to make eight fingers, four of these long ones, and four of these short ones. You're going to start with a magic circle and you're going to single crochet six single crochets into the magic circle. One, two, and six. Cinch it up and pull your thing closed to a tight little circle. That's round one. For the long finger, you're going to crochet six single crochets around for eight more rounds. Round nine. One, two, and six. Make a slip stitch in the last one and fasten off. And there's one long finger. Now, for the short finger, we're gonna do the same thing as the long finger. The only difference is that we're going to have six rounds when we're done, rather than nine rounds. So starting with a magic ring, six single crochets into the magic ring. One, two, and six. That's round one. Now for rounds two through six, you're gonna single crochet around six single crochets. And this concludes tutorial part two. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.